it's nothing new But it's so good to see you Welcome to Sailing Sweet Ruka. I'm Kate and this is Curtis. We are two racing sailors from the Midwest that decided to sell it all, buy a boat, and sail around the world the hard way via Cape Horn. We like to take the sea less traveled, so click subscribe and come along for the ride. We are continuing to push further south along the African coast, getting closer to Cape Verde and the doldrums. The mainsail is back to full hoist and we have been lucky enough to fly the spinnaker for the last few days. This is how sailing is supposed to feel and these are the days we love the most. You know I'm here to stay every single day. I am really enjoying the tropical conditions, light breeze, and smoother water after our tear down the North Atlantic. Can't wait to see what else is in store. Diving can be tricky with a full crew, but is even trickier double-handed. Timing between the driver and trimmer is critical. I hope we can nail it and not wrap the chute. The asymmetrical spinnaker has to go around the forestay, and we do not have a bowsprit, so there isn't a lot of room. And it's through. They don't always go this easy. Due to the break on the boom, it requires a little bit of a toss to get it back to its proper sailing position. Now it's time to reset the autopilot and keep on cruising. I 
If you can't tell already, I really like sailing. Cruising is much more to me than just watching sunsets with cocktails. The challenge of perfecting maneuvers and keeping the boat up to speed is enough to keep me entertained while Kate rests for the next shift. Kate, Sunset Dolphins! Holy sh! Kate! Nothing, huh? Nothing on the hook. It's okay. We'll try again oh. tomorrow. <laughs> oh, it's a nice sunset. Oh. What do you think about today? Awesome day. Super beautiful day. Started with rain. But now we got this vinegar flying and it's just gorgeous. It ended with dolphins. And ended with dolphins. And whales. And whales that Curtis made up. Bullsh**. <laughs> Every time I see a whale, you always think I made it up. Yeah, because I never come back. <laughs> Every time I see whales, Kate always thinks I made it up. I'm pretty sure I got it on video this time. The ones with the little kind of curly top fins that are pretty like middle size. They're right over there. I saw them. There were three of them. <laughs> We're gonna have to go review this footage. Instant replay. <laughs> I'll give you a quick rundown of where we're at right now. We are about 180 miles from Mindelo. We are just to the northeast of Cabo Verde Islands. We're not quite sure yet whether we want to go through the islands or if we want to go to the east side of the islands. It's really going to depend on the way the wind shifts out. The models don't really agree. They've, some are right, some are left. 
Uh, so we're just gonna play the wind as best we can and go for the best downwind BMG that we can at our mark, which is way, way down uh, in Argentina. So you can see this line on our BMG right here is our optimal course. And then this black line is our actual heading. So it's telling us whether we can head up right now or we're right on our optimal BMG or we could head down a little bit. And then this over here is our jibing angle. Right? Right. Yay. Yay. There goes the sun behind a little squall. Oh, it's beautiful, babe. That is gorgeous. Make it look more dramatic like, next time. <laughs> yeah, I was joking. I was joking. It was pretty dramatic. Having a great time. It's blowing about 18 right now, and we're surfing the boat up above 10 knots. It's a little challenging driving though here and there, but we're having a good time. We're, we're right about at the limit of where we should be flying the spinnaker late at night here it's not the best idea but you gotta have a little bit of fun and we met some new friends in tenerife with an rm 1370 which is a pretty fast hot boat and we know by watching the tracker that they are coming for us so we've got to keep the gas pedal down here See if we can make a little bit of time when we can. We're not gonna get beat by somebody. the boat down. There's nothing to describe the feeling of watching dinner swim away with your favorite lure. The only thing I could think was that it wasn't meant to be. On to the next thing. Today we're talking about how to jibe. We've got our asymmetrical spinnaker up and we're gonna send that around the bow and we're gonna head off in the other direction. We'll kind of go step by step here and I'll talk it through as we go. We're gonna go ahead and press both buttons, hold them down, it says do we wanna jibe. We're gonna confirm, jibe. 
So now we're driving. So now we're sailing this clue out, out, out here. Very deep. Very deep. Way out, way out. Now we pull through. Make sure we keep our head down. We're going to give it a big pull on this side. He's going to fill. And then an ease. And there we go. We've just jived. That's all there is to it, guys. Now we just need to set our trim here on the other side and keep on sailing. So believe it or not, we actually didn't jibe for an optimal course. The course is good enough both ways. But really, the reason why we did this was because we wanted the maximum sun on our solar panels. We've got now, looks like only one panel being shaded, which is really good. We've got one, two, three, 350, 400, 500 watts back here working. And it doesn't look like we have any of our panels back here. Let's go down and check out the amps and see what's coming in. So it really looks like we've only got about 200 watts coming in. So we don't have nearly the panels working as what we really think that we should. And as you can see, it has not been sunny at all. The last few days, this is our first day of sun. So we're really down a lot on amps. But we do have some coming in. And uh, I'm going to go hand drive as well. That way we uh, can save a little bit more power. It is time to recharge. But wait, there's more. Head on over to Patreon and you can find all of our additional photos, additional footage, and even be able to communicate us with us directly via email or chat and see what goes on behind the scenes here on Sweet Ruka, as well as get real time updates as to what's going on with our boat configuration, where we are in the world and where we are headed next. Ciao.